Well, a new affordable housing project was officially launched today in Evansville with the goal of building over 100 new homes in over five years. Eyewitness News' Brandon Bartlett is in our newsroom now with details. Brandon? Well, Shelley, that project will be centered in the Jacobsville area of Evansville. It's an area that has one of the highest poverty rates in the city. And some who live in that area tell me tonight this is just what that area needs. There's a lot of homeless people over here. Charles Robbins lives in Jacobsville and says he sees every day the need for more affordable housing. Especially on this road right here, there's always homeless people there, like, with signs and stuff. And it's pretty sad because, like, the population of homeless people is, like, really big. A recent study indicated Evansville is short 1,500 to 3,000 affordable housing units. That's why the city of Evansville has partnered with Habitat for Humanity, Veteran, and Hope to use $5.5 million over five years to increase the number of affordable workforce housing. 26 homes will be built the first year with a goal of building over 100 homes over the five years. Mayor Lloyd Winicky says this will not only provide much-needed housing for low income families, but will help decrease the city's homeless population. Day in and day out, there's a whole network of not-for-profits that are working to uplift those who are in homeless state, find some sort of uh, housing for them. Uh, we know we have uh, many people who are in the workforce that have uh, below standard housing, so we're trying to lift up as many people as possible. This affordable housing project is just the next chapter in what has been a revitalization of the Jacobsville neighborhood. Look at what's going on in Jacobsville. I think, you know, began with a complete street project. Uh, you look at what's going on with different business expansion there. The Deaconess Aquatic Center going in there. Construction will begin in that later this spring. Uh, the Otters are celebrating a quarter century. Uh, there's a lot going on in Jacobsville, and there's more to come. Habitat officials say they hope to break ground on their first home later this month. To apply for one of those homes, just call the Habitat for Humanity office. Live tonight in the newsroom, Brandon Bartlett, Eyewitness News.